Okay, so we're dealing with ellipses today. Bear with me during my drawing class and they're trying real hard to hold it in. Drawing my horizon line very high on the page, so go ahead and do that. My substitute can pause at any time they want. So my vanishing points are off the side of the page. Just like we did with a sidewalk, we're going to start with two diagonal lines going from each of the vanishing points. One like that. And one like that. Now I don't need to connect them all the way to the vanishing points because all I want is a shape inside here in the middle of the page. You want to set it up so that it feels as though it would be square. So this line and this line are about the same. Just like that. Now what we want to do is find perspective center. So from this point to this point and this point to this point, create an X. very lightly because these are working lines. And now that we have perspective center, you want to take a light line, a light working line, from your left vanishing point through and your right vanishing point through. Now might be a good place to pause so that you can check your neighbor's work as you're going along. Good place to pause. What we're going to do next is we're going to be looking at this corner or this intersection, the intersection here, here, and here, and now we are going to eyeball an ellipse, a manhole cover, a tire lying on the ground, um, anything round, a circle that would be laying, maybe a frisbee. I'm going to curve toward that intersection. As my curve comes down, it's going to ride along this line and it's going to curve. This is a graceful curve here until I touch that intersection there, the bottom intersection. And this is a very severe curve. It's still going to ride along this bottom line and it's going to curve up sharply. You can see I'm having to sketch for that. This is going to again ride this line till I get up to here. I'm finding that intersection and it doesn't change direction fast. It's going to continue riding along this edge and curve. Now I might have to go back in and fix this a little bit. But that is your ellipse.